Hello sax friends and welcome to your fourth guided music practice video. In today's lesson we are going to be looking at key signatures. You will be successful when you can correctly identify and explain what a key signature is and what it means for your playing. Let's start with exercise 49, Marching Madness. Exercise 49, Marching Madness, at the beginning you will see that there is an F sharp at the very beginning before the 4-4 time. That F sharp is called a key signature. It's the key signature of G major, and it means that all Fs in your music, low, high, middle, whatever, are all going to be sharp. So it's the key to your music. If you don't play the F sharp, your music will sound wrong. Even if there are no Fs in your music, it still might be in the key signature of G because someone else might have to play a G when they're playing your music. So if you look at your music, see if you can find any F sharps that are in exercise 49. Can you see any? No, good. So you don't have to worry about it. All we're doing now is practicing the notes we already know how to play, making sure that we understand what a key signature is. Pause now and see if you can explain out loud what the sharp at the beginning of your music does to the rest of the notes. And it's called a key signature. Let's see. From the beginning, singing in fingers, practicing the notes we know so far. D to rest. D, C to rest. C, B to rest. B, A to A to G to B to B to three, four. A to A to G to three, four. A to G to A to A to G to B to G to G. Pretty easy, right? So remember, key signature at the beginning, all Fs are sharp, and it's the key of G major. Let's play it. Did you have to worry about it in this song? Good, okay, now let's look at exercise 50. Exercise 50 is another full band arrangement and it has the same key signature. What key has, and it has the same key signature, which is the key of G major. And what does it mean for all of the Fs in your music? You have to play them as Sharps, good. Are there any Fs in your music? No, so you don't have to worry about it. Go from the beginning, sing me in fingers. Nice and slowly, making sure that you're singing the rest as well. So it should be A, A, rest. C, D, two, E, E, A, A, rest. C, D, two, three, four, A, A, rest. C, D, two, E, E, A, A, rest. G, A, two, E, E, A, two, G, two, A, two, three, four. A, two, G, two, A, two, three, four. A, two, G, two, A, two, a, A, G, 
G G two E E E two rest two three four rest two E E A two three rest A A A rest back to the beginning pause now and practice singing the fingers and doing it on your own remember you can always do it with a backing track with smart music if you need to and now let's sing into the fingers with smart music don't play yet a a c d and see if you can practice it in small chunks. So practice it two or four bars at a time, making sure you're counting and doing the fingers correctly. Now pause and do it in eight bar chunks. Now pause and see if you can join all of the chunks together to do the whole thing without stopping. And now let's play it together with smart music from the beginning. as many times as you need to until it feels easy and see how fast you can get it playing it on your own. How did you go with your key signatures? Can you explain what a G major key signature has? An F sharp, good. And what does that sharp mean at the start? So if you see an F at the beginning in your key signature, it means that all Fs in your music have to be sharp. What if there are no Fs in your music? Then you don't have to worry about it. Hopefully that makes sense. See if you can practice exercise 45 all the way to 47 and keep going in your book. Go as far as you can. Let me know how you go. Keep sending me the smart music assignments and dojo. Keep up the good work and happy practicing.